a 16-year-old girl in her youth, was brutally mutilated by her guests. The internal organs were chopped up and flushed into the sewer. The head was thrown into the sea, and the rest of the bones and flesh were disposed of and thrown to the butcher's store in the market, where they were served on the tables of many people. This is a large-scale Hong Kong slasher movie adapted from a real case. Port of Call Her name is Alice and her parents divorced when she was nine. Alice's mom remarried to Hong Kong with her sister. However, due to the restriction of immigration policy, Alice has been living alone in Guangdong. It was not until she was 16 years old that she was qualified to immigrate to Hong Kong. When Alice was reunited with her mom and sister, she thought it was the beginning of a new life. But it was the beginning of a tragedy. Alice excelled in her studies and was quite pretty. She should have been loved by her teachers and close to her classmates. But this was a Christian school. And Alice, who was from Guangdong, openly talked about her first time on social media platforms, causing people around her to look at her differently. Alice didn't understand it, just like she didn't understand her deskmate grabbing her art knife and slitting her wrists. Obviously, all the students around her were silent. But the teacher criticized her alone and asked her if she knew that this would kill her. The school is a mess, but the family is also a mess. Her stepfather is not a hardworking man, receiving low-cost insurance. And Alice's mother, not wanting to live like this, finds a job in an opera house to support the family. Although life was tight, Alice's mom treated her well. A co-worker gave her a pair of new earrings for her birthday, and when she saw that her daughter liked them, she gave them to her. But this day, the co-worker wanted them back. It turns out that the earrings were taken from her daughter's jewelry box, but she did not expect her to take the real thing, which is worth two months of her salary. As oh, my colleague bought the same earrings and asked Alice's mom to change them back. There is no other way. Alice's mother had to agree to go home after the truth. Alice is not willing to only take off the earrings, but the stall goods she did not want at all, thrown directly into the garbage can. This action, however, made Alice's mother's fire immediately come up, directly throwing Alice a slap. Who wants to live so frustrating? It is not because of the poor. Alice wants anything to earn her own money to buy. So Alice dropped out of school, and earning money became the center of her life. In the beginning, she wanted to look for a serious job. She had a dream of becoming a mo. And now that she is no longer in school, she can focus more on practice and taking pictures every day to find her own sense of camera. Sometimes Alice also watched football matches. Her dad ran illegal gambling in her hometown. Every time Manchester United lost, she would text her congratulations. This is one of the few exchanges between father and daughter. But it's times like these when mom always brings up part-time work, making Alice feel very bummed out. But Alice is confident about finding a job. She believed she could become a qualified model. She came to the modeling agency for an interview, but to the knowledgeable manager. Alice was ordinary. She can't be signed as a model. She can only be a talent scout at most. In order to get closer to her dream, Alice is willing to hand out flyers on the street under the hot sun with her bare feet. Despite working very hard, she doesn't make much money, and Alice wants to move out of her family home, which is not enough for her. She tries to work two jobs at the same time, but her paychecks are still meager. Once Alice heard from a co-worker that a friend of hers was a big fan of her idol. In order to buy tickets for her idol's concerts, she started to work as a sex worker. Alice was thinking about it, and after she asked for help, she started coasting on the internet to look for someone who would be interested in her. 